temperatures during National Public Safety Telecommunications Week. Uh, Eyewitness News reporter Tony Salazar joins us live from Hall Ambulance Communication Center with more on the life-saving work that they provide to Kern County residents. Tony, good morning. Stacy, good morning in Kern County. Great good morning to you watching at home. So these medical dispatchers are here year round, whether it's Christmas, no matter what time of the day it is, they are here 365 days a year providing life-saving measures and even handling incoming and outgoing calls. This morning we are here at Hall Ambulances Communication Center here in downtown Bakersfield. This is also where we find who just got off the, a couple phone calls just minutes ago. That is Mr. Kirk Chambers also joining us this morning. Mr. Kirk, thanks for joining us. How are we feeling? Good morning. Thank you. Very good. Awesome. So let's talk more about, you know, who you are for folks to, just to get a better understanding as far as how you got your, your start here as a dispatcher. Uh, here at Hall Ambulance, I've been here a little over 15 years. Uh, I came in here just a little over 10 years ago. Uh, I came here and decided to do something different from the, out in the field. And it's a very different side of things versus uh, out in the field coming down and talking to patients on the phone and getting the right resources. Certainly. And, and, and Mr. Chambers, just a couple of months ago, you were actually awarded the Dispatcher of the Year. That's a huge, distinctive award. What does that mean to you, and, and how did it feel like to, to receive such a big award like that? Uh, it's a good accomplishment, and it's great to be recognized. Um, it's a lot of hours, honestly. It seems like I live here. Um, <laughs> but it's a lot of hours, and it's a lot of teamwork and getting the right resources to the community and helping them out. And then here at the, communication, at the communication center in downtown Bakersfield, we're inside of here right now. We got, you, you know, your, your other team members is what I like to call them, or the other dispatchers who are around here. We got flashing yellow and red lights. What do those symbolize? The flashing red light, what that means is when you keep the mic, it means we're talking on the radio. The flashing yellow light means the, we're on the phone. You could be talking with the fire department or talking with another agency or talking with someone on the phone who needs an ambulance. And you know, when I look around here, I see a lot of uh, a lot of screens here, right? You have to be a good multitasker and also a good communicator here, Kirk. So walk me through how technology has, has evolved throughout the years. You've been here for, you say, over 10 years. How has that changed throughout the years? Uh, throughout the years, uh, the pre route instructions, the dispatch instructions, they've been on computer where they used to originally start out as being on card set where we have to do it manually. Now it's on computer where we type everything in and it gives us everything on computer. It's all tracked on the computer. It makes the process more streamlined and more efe efe efficient and going, going faster. Yeah, certainly. And I also want to talk to you more about, let's say we have some viewers watching and maybe they want to be, become a medical dispatcher themselves. What advice do you have for them? I know it's, it's a challenging but also rewarding career. Uh, they have to have uh, definitely a cool head, keep calm. Uh, common or stressful situations, but have a good way to decompress from the job as well. And, and, and speaking of decompressing, how do you decompress? I mean, this is, I mean, you're handling calls of all kinds throughout the night. I mean, do you, you, you work the overnight shifts or how do, does that work? I work the overnights and uh, I stay on my night schedule when I'm off, but uh, important is I keep my contact with my family and friends and people who are outside of work because work is just one part of me, but I have a entire separate life outside that keeps me whole. So certainly, it's, it's all about that work-life balance here. And, you know, w when it comes to a, to a dispatcher, could you kind of walk me through, the, you know, the call for an ambulance? I know it, it can be really long, but can you kind of summarize it up for me if somebody were to call in and ask for a request for an ambulance? Uh, sure. Just to condense it down just a little bit, uh, we'll ask the address twice to confirm the address. We'll ask for the RP reporting party's phone number, ask that twice. And ask them, okay, tell me exactly what's happened, get the patient see complaint, what's the main complaint of, um, make sure are they awake, are they breathing, and then based on what those answers are, go through the proper card set and any instructions that we need to give them, whether CPR or pregnancy or, or even choking, try to help that patient and send the right resource in an efficient time to get them there to help that patient. And, and Kirk, what do you think is the most challenging part of your job here? The most challenging part, I would say, is the, definitely the multitasking. Uh, definitely have an ear for a radio and also listening to your team members as well in the background and the other different radio traffic trying to de decipher it. Well, there you have it, Mr. Kirk Chambers here, the dispatcher of the year. We are live here at Hall Ambulances Communication Center where the calls are ringing off the hook, but of course they're here uh, really providing these life-saving life -saving measures for Kern County residents. We'll have more details in case maybe you're interested in applying to become a medical dispatcher yourself on our website at bakersfieldnow.com. We're now reporting live in downtown Bakersfield. I'm Tony Salazar with Eyewitness News. Guys, back to you. All right. Thanks for that, Tony. 
The time now is 6.20. Still to come on Eyewitness News Mornings. We're covering this.